All right, a rare and frightening warning tonight from the Los Angeles Health Department after three teenage girls were found unconscious from taking ecstasy pills that were laced with fentanyl. The LA superintendent is urging parents now to talk to their kids about the dangers of using illicit drugs, especially right now as so many of our kids are heading into summer break. But this is not a problem that is solely happening in Los Angeles, it's nationwide. Across the country, fentanyl-related overdoses going up every single year. In fact, fentanyl is now the number one, number one killer of adults ages 18 to 45. Joining us now is retired DEA agent Jack Riley. Uh, Jack, appreciate your time tonight. This starts at the border with the cartels, right? Absolutely. The border is right now wide open and the cartels are taking every advantage they can to make a profit. And unfortunately, that's going to lead to a lot of deaths in this country. For folks at home, what is it about fentanyl that is so dangerous that makes it so deadly? Well, it's 40, 50 percent stronger than street level heroin. And in many cases, it can be as many as 100 times stronger than street level heroin. So when you see it mixed with things like cocaine, methamphetamine, uh, it is just deadly. And most of the time, the people selling it and the people using it have no idea what they have. Hmm. And the cartels are supplying the demand. So where do you intercept this problem and, and make a real change? Where do you think we need to start? Well, we've got to do a better job at the border. The borders are open, but we also have to pressure the Chinese. Much of the precursor chemicals that are coming into Mexico to produce fentanyl are coming directly from China. And we're going to have to do a better job with the Chinese because this is an unstoppable problem that unfortunately is affecting the families of this country like I've never seen it before. And it keeps me up at night because I worry about the kids who just don't have any idea what it is they're taking and they end up dying in the bedroom at night. It's happening across the country in every corner of this country. Mm. Yeah, I want to play briefly here, Jack, um, a, a piece of sound from Bill Bodner. He's a DEA special agent in L.A. talking about the importance of education. Let's listen. And education right now is probably the most important thing we can do because of the deceptive nature of the marketing of drugs. Fentanyl is now in cocaine. Fentanyl is in counterfeit prescription drugs. Fentanyl is in ecstasy. Um, fentanyl can be in almost any drug that's sold on the street. So Jack, I know this, you know this. I'm talking to my kids about this. Most of my friends know this, but where is the message not getting through that the risk is just that great? You cannot trust any drug that you don't get from your doctor. You know, I, I think it starts at the dinner table at night. It starts on the basketball court with coaches. It starts uh, in the churches with uh, uh, parishioners and, and, and ministers. Everybody needs to talk about this. This is now the worst I've ever seen it in my 30 years of being involved in this business. And it's only going to get worse unless we get a handle on both the Mexican, the Chinese, and education. It's got to stop because kids are dying and families are devastated. At the state and local level, um, is there a community that has gotten it right, that has embraced this problem and is, is handling it in a way that you think could be replicated? You know, uh, when I was a deputy administrator at DEA, there was a, a, a part of New Hampshire, Manchester in particular, that grabbed it, that ran with it, that made every social service available they recognized, I think, the addiction problem with fentanyl, and everybody came to light. It was an educational thing from kids to school to kids to high school, even into college, and everybody recognized that if they didn't get together, something would happen. Unfortunately, that message is not spread across the country, and I'm telling you, that's what keeps me up at night. I am so concerned about if we don't get a handle on this, on the law enforcement side and also on the educational side, we're in for a, a, a long haul. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.